Oh, Davy, when will you affectionately give me the remnants of your chewed bitter from your mouth into mine? Yeah. Looking all around to check if anybody sees it. Oh, Davy, when will you affectionately give me the remnants of your chewed beetle from your mouth into mine, looking yeah. all around? Yeah. Very intimate moment between Shivati yeah. Radhika and Tulsi Manjari. Yeah. Notes. Both during visions and after their disappearance, Sri Raghunath's heart remains filled with an unbroken desire to attain the nectarian service of Sri Radha. Gaudiya Vaishnava aspirants should do bhajans while keeping this aspiration alive. Uh, intimate. Yes, what is intimate. intimate? Very intimate. Most intimate. From Samani, from her mouth, when she sees every place, nobody is there. Then call to to see come and see from her mouth. She give in the to see mouth. So intimate. Mouth to mouth actions. This is emptiness. The desires on a person's mind will ultimately come out in the form of action or acts in the field of action in you the see. same form. The, see this one. Read again. The desires on a person's mind. Mind. Desire of the person mind will come out through his actions. In the mind, there are manobriti, many desires. Chittavirti also one pointed desire. It will come in action. So what happened? Mind desire when it influenced with the false ego. And man's desire thinking when is is influenced with the chitavati of mind self. Two types of desire. One is bringing to material and one is to bring for one pointed for my son. So, many times, 
आनंद भाव से दिल्ली ओपन है अरे चलाओ ना चलेगा चलेगा जाएगा तो जाएगा मेरे पास इमरजेंसी है चलाओ यार हमको नहीं अच्छा लग रहा है यू नो व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग वी हैव अ वेरी थ्री डेज बिग प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो व्हाट आई थिंक It's too hot now. I'm out. Again, you said this, that the desires uh, will come out in the form of actions, and you wanted to say something about Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj. Ah, uh, he is telling all this. This is mental religion. Huh? Religion. religion. <laughs> I was very surprised when I listened in beginning mental religion. What does it mean? I don't understand, but I cannot say. But now you see, is really mental religion. How the mind is acting, we move that. Check. Why he mention about mana siksha? The mental religion has to improve in the one pointed desire. If not, then we are totally suffering. Creation cannot do it. in friends with the false ego mind yeah also mentally conceived spiritual body you see my god chandra said mentally conceived we can see also like a mother is spiritual body mind is conceiving is an art is a fact it was not before that i feel that is in a very sleeping mode but mind practice conceive this is spiritual and this is really fact it can see and one more thing narayan maharaj writing if you cannot live with body and vrindavan then you should be mentally living in vrindavan also then the body one day has to follow Wow. Mind, mental, religion, mental can see my spiritual life. So, explain this to all German. and all the wooty because this is very basic this without this not happening anyway you explain my english not good to understand to them but it is a basic for ragu just to there Not telling is a meditation. Hello, Suniti, you are here. I am here, Gurudev. But the, uh, I think the German translator is doing their job, and I think your English is very good, Gurudev. But anyway, I can read if you want. Suniti, there there is no German translator. 
Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, very sad. Oh, very sad. So you want me to speak so it you in German? You want me to speak it in German? <laughs> <lacht> okay, Gude, Fat okay, gesagt. Gude, Fat gesagt. Dass wir üben dürfen mit dem, äh, dem, äh, dem Wahrnehmen unserer Gedanken. Weil alles wird durch die mentale Ebene empfangen. Spirituelle, spirituelle Das heißt, wenn ich in Vrindavan bin, ich in Vrindavan dann gehen wir über Vrindavan und dann Vrindavan und haben uns auch einlassen, während die Meditation des Tages. Can, can the others please can mute the others their mics? Their mic? Because there yes, is a feedback. Bitte, bitte schaltet bitte, das Mikrofon bitte aus. Das Mikrofon aus. <laughs> Besser now? Yes. Besser. Okay, so wenn wir uns äh, nach Van Darwin wünschen und nach dem Dienst von Srimati Radhika wünschen, dann werden diese Wünsche in Erfüllung gehen. Und das ist ganz wichtig, erklärt äh, Gurudev, weil wir auf dieser Ebene der Wünsche einfach unsere Verbindung herstellen und auch dann eine, eine Erwiderung erfahren. Wir sagen, und Ananda, das Babaji sagt immer wieder, dass Vaishnava und Uh, gerade auch Swarup, uh, Meditation sind eine mentale Religion oder eine mentale Praxis, dass wir immer wieder unsere Gedanken, unsere Wahrnehmungen auf das ausrichten, wo wir hin möchten. Okay, dann, Udi. Understand, aber. So, what we have to do, we have to keep our mind not give chance to influence with their false ego. Manobhriti mind cannot understand this. Raga. then we will understand from my constitutional, material constitutional position, not my spiritual constitutional position. My senses, body, false ego cannot understand this. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> so the desires on a person's mind will ultimately come out in the form of acts, in the field of action, in the same form and nature as it was cherished by the mind. No, I cherish by. By the mind. Yeah. Similarly, the picture of the transcendental desires that the aspiring devotee has on his mind will be drawn on the slate of his heart by Yoga Maya. Wow. Also, it's coming uh, to the mind. Like a slate or canvas. Mm, canvas. But this Suddha 
शुद्ध चित्त श्रवण आदि करय उदय नित्य सिद्ध कृष्ण प्रेम साध का गुना शुद्ध चित्त शुद्ध चित्त चित्त मिंत माइन शुद्ध चित्त श्रवण आदि करय उदय बाय लिस्निंग बीड कैन रियलाइज इट जीवेरे स्वरूप है स्वरूप इज दे बट इन स्लीपिंग स्टेज जीवेरे स्वरूप है कृष्ण नित्य दास then why coming krishna nitadas why not radha nitadas this is radha bhav krishna nitadas radha rani is doing <coughs> she is always thinking for krishna since is radha she is teaching how to be a nitadas of krishna how to see how nitadas to krishna radha rani teaching by her behavior to us radha krishna is doing this without radha how we can reach to krishna i cannot do this but when we see the center it will sure come wake up my sarup will wake up because she sar mercy it happens in my life Hmm. And Yoga Maya Gurudev is also an expansion of Shrimati Radhika. <laughs> Maha Maya and Yoga Maya. Maha Maya is bringing distance from Krishna. Oh. and yoga maya is bringing near to service of them yoga that is uh, something is happening or uh, directly around sunday I they are getting. Who can I say? I'm bad. No, no problem. I'm to go. Yes, the picture of the transcendental desires. that an aspiring devotee has on their mind will be drawn on the canvas of his heart by yoga maya so also with those aspiring for shri radha's service mm. shri patsanatan goswami writes in his brihad bhagavatamrita those who give up all other spiritual practices and goals and desire only the supreme goal of shri radha's service 
always chant her name in Sanketana and automatically attain their desired perfection. I pray in German also. No translator. Yes, diejenigen, die alle spirituellen Vorgänge und Wünsche aufgeben, um einfach das höchste Ziel von Sri Radhas Dienst zu erlangen, singen immer ihre heiligen Namen und erreichen damit automatisch ihre erwünschte Vollkommenheit. And Ma, Yoga Maya, how she bring us to flow. Und diejenigen, ja, diejenigen, die auf die, ihre, ihre transmentalen Wünsche in, in dem Herzen, in dem Herzen und in den Gedanken und Vorstellungen äh, kultivieren oder äh, meditieren, ihnen wird Yoga Maya äh, diesen Wunsch erfüllen und den Kontakt mit Radharanis Dienst schenken. Those you know, who yes. Hey, one thing comes to me. When Yoga Maya helping, then the mind is not influenced by false ego. When Mahamaya clutch, the false ego is very active. And when Yoga Maya is take over that mind, then false ego cannot active there. Mm. This is the switch of Yoga Maya and Mahamaya. It revealed to me, so I want to share this. Just the moment it comes. Very nice. From which switch she is controlling us, Mahamaya and Yoga. When we are the influence of the false ego, means Mahamaya influences power. And when Yoga Maya gives mercy, then Mahamaya influence means false ego cannot influence us. Mm. That is the Kripa. In the Kripa of Sati. Right, Jananda Maharaj? Yes, Gurudev. This what I very... want to say on this point, explain to us, <clears throat> okay, so Krishna has two energy, uh, Mahamaya and uh, Yoga Maya. Mahaya, Mahamaya means material energy, and Yoga Maya is like a spiritual energy, like Krishna's internal energy. So we have our chitta vritti has two directions. One goes to spiritual thing like Radha's Seva. Another direction goes to our our body sense gratifications direction. So if we identify our self is material body, then our nature, then ego is coming out. Oh, I'm this body. I have to gratify these senses, this body, this ego. Then material energy catch us and we are in the deep, <laughs> uh, in a sink in the material ocean. But if by the mercy of Gurudev, 
by the mercy of Swamini, if we identify ourselves as spiritual body, means Swarupa, then material energy cannot catch us. Instead of spiritual energy influence us, and we, we are in flow, and spiritual energy is flow, and then automatically we can go. So our chitta vritti, mano vritti is very important, which Gurudev is saying. So which direction we want to go? Or, or we want to surrender Gurudev? Or we want to surrender our mind? If we want to surrender Swamini, or if we want to surrender this material uh, desire. So Guru Dev is saying, ping pong, which direction we want to go. So therefore, to we need totally surrender our mind, our words, our body, everything to surrender to the to Gurudev and our Swamini. Then we, ha we are automatically, <laughs> we are in flow and spiritual rasa, divine rasa. This is <laughs> Small explanation, Guru Dev. Yeah, one thing. Guru Dev brings to the relationship. Relation with the Easter Dev. Mm -hmm. Why? Sarup cannot come out without its Dev. Sarup cannot reveal without its Dev. Why? Because when you start loving to your Easter Dev for exchange with Easter Dev. Easter feels he is material, so he sees me material. Because he sees his material identification, he also sees me material. Easter Dev thinks he see I'm a small, I'm in wood, I'm in a stone. Because his mind and his whole body is material. If I will not make a spiritual, how he can relate with me? Then by his grace and the grace of the name, it happens that the Swami gives to us one form to make normal my life. And then I can relate with this today. I can relate with the Guru Manjari Sarup. Why Sardha is there? In, you see, first is the Sardha, and after some time, Nistha is coming. Sardha is still I, when I see the body, identification, it is a Sardha. Because I am material, and I can identify his material body. What maximum can happen, Sardha?
Nista come the moment you relate with Istadev and Istadev start talking with you and divine consciousness will enter in our heart. Then we not see Gurudev like a material body. Then we feel the mercy that he do the change my life. What he do to me, what he give the mantra, that the, my whole life will change. I can see something different. Divine myself and Ishtadev. And this all happening because of you. And this is Kripa. All come by Kripa. All is a grace. And this is our Acharya's line. I am listening these days Sanatan Siksha in Chaitan Chaitan Wow. Beautiful. Gurudev, could you share a little bit of Sanatana Shiksha? What are you feeling? First, about Krishna, God, Krishna, and then about devotional practice. What is the meaning of devotion? In different, different stages, how we see this. But that problem is this. You have to listen in Bangla. <laughs> Sorry, English is uh, something is not explained uh, there because of the Sarup. Abhideha. What is in Bangla? But Abhideha, Prabhupada mentioned uh, or the uh, the translator about the highly spiritual eh, consciousness. Uh, what is this? Avidya is not become clear with that. You understand? So there are some things. What is Bangla can be without, like we know Abhideya. We understand what is that. It is very clearly mentioned Mahaprabhu. Without Abhideya, you cannot develop devotion. How we can do with the physical form? Material is a ping pong, will be always there. Abhideha. Main subject is Abhideha. Sambandha and Abhideha. Beautifully clarification. Sadhguru <laughs> You mentioned Abhideya. Abhideya means uh, as a spiritual body, Swarupa. Abhideya means Deha is there. And I have a physical body. In this, my one is divine body. Divine consciousness, my soul consciousness. It will start with the soul. How much we can meditate in the soul. But when we will say that my soul form is this, 
then form I can think, but so nobody can stay longer. Mm. You okay? Form you can wait. You can wait for some time to think on that. But how you will stay for the soul? There is nothing more to do. But the form, when you identify two forms, physical form and my spiritual form, then you become normal to move in that form. Mm. But this form, Sometimes you move in this form, sometimes move in that form. You can realize of the, about the beauty of the which form is good. When you will not realize, uh, and nobody will realize which form is best for me, I will not change myself. When the both form is there, and I, then I have to decide one. Easy for them. Guru can I explain a little bit my 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 feeling after hearing your your words? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, like by the bhakti, we may think we are spirit soul, <laughs> but uh, as a only only the concept of spirit soul is is not enough. Actually. Is that impersonal? Yes. So therefore, therefore, as we are using this material body to do something, but uh, if we attain dearly, say Langanuga Bhakti, especially Rupanuga Bhakti, at that time our Abhideya means we are uh, identify spiritual body. And then, then we practicing using a spiritual body as Swarupa. Then you say like uh, more natural and more easy to do. And then we can, we, we may, uh, it is more not, we, we don't need to deviate if we are fixed. I think that it also deviates. When I have a spiritual form, after that we deviate because of the old practice. Mm -hmm. Again we come to material body <clears throat> and work on that also. Then again we go to a spiritual body by association and work on that. Yes. And the test will come more and more to a spiritual body nourishment, then material body will be there. It will be not much effect. All will become as a service. Therefore, we need Sajati Sangha, na Gurudev. We that need is, that, this, this is point. This is we the, need good association. Yeah, this is this <coughs> this subject cochlear. When the flow is not in water, it becomes stinky, no? So this is the flow. Greed. Greed and Mara say greed. Greed means the flow. Why flow, my dear? If the flow block, water flow block, it becomes stinky. So flow is this, what I, I am missing to achieve that. I, I have to taste that. Why I will accept? If it's not tasteful, and when it will become tasteful, then why I will live in the stinky environments? <laughs> you see? 
then this stinky environment will also become perfumed by her mask. Means because this flavor will change. And this is all must. What we do afford to I that we can relate with each other, what we do. What we do afford to change myself, only I'm doing bhajan and standing in the front of you. And slowly, slowly, we start relating you. Slowly, slowly, you are always in mind that I, where I sit, I see you only. That is Yoga Maya Kripa. Things are favorable to move. Mahamaya will hide herself to no disturb. And sometimes show to test Mahamaya also influenced too much. Some sickness will come, some other external problem will come. How much you want to jump out for that? No electricity is there, three days. And now they say that in night also not going to happen. You preserve your battery. Then if you're not in, uh, without electricity, your inverter will finish then done. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> so all the Mahamaya is influencing every moment. I know internet is there, but Gopinath in Yoga Maya influence, we create <laughs> internet connection. <laughs> we are talking, sharing. Forget for this moment that there will be no electricity after one hour. This is the break. Hey, como está? ¿Cómo siente? ¿Me ha llamado? ¿Me está haciendo la llamada? Yo estaba pendiente. No me estoy llamando bien. Can you please mute your mics? Hello. Que no me ha llamado. No se oye. Hello. Anapurna, Didi. You you can mute. I made you the co-host. You can mute that. Uh, whoever has the microphone on, please, because we cannot do it from here today. Anna-san, Anna-san, えっと、音を出してる人をミュートにしてくださいって Okay, good if I continue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it those... was this subject, na? It was this. Yes, I know, I know. Maya and Mahamaya. How to, how to come out of Mahamaya when you are in the classroom? We cannot come out. Then it's a sudden bhakti. We cannot do any sadhana, yeah? We have very limited energy. How to pray to my Swami that I can be with you, that there is only Yoga Maya. Yes, it all, all comes from the consciousness that the stinky yeah. circumstances become a good smell of service. Seva Ras, Gurudev. I'm class. After that, can I talk? Hmm. Yes.
Yes. It's an ongoing, ongoing subject, always the whole life would be to come always. Every moment. Come. No, yes. no, every moment. Every moment. We have to watch world. Not you. I have to watch world. No, not not you. I go there. No, no, no. I say for myself. <laughs> and I say for myself. <laughs> no, honestly, I am honest with you. I am checking this. Mahamaya has many, many ways. Mahamaya. We have to very respectful. Jaho, Tumari Jaho, but give me mercy. Shiva, why we pray to Shiva? Because this is the Mahama. Shiva can give mercy that she will not influence you. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Those who give up all other spiritual practices and goals and desire only the supreme goal of Sri Radha's service. You see, are... all is spiritual practice. I am talking only religious practice, sorry. But now it's coming all the spiritual practice. Mm. I'm uh, limited in religious practice. But uh, Baba is telling all the spiritual practice. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a bhasa dirasa, why you will practice sakharasa? Why you will practice madhuri rasa? If I have a Madhuri Rasa, why I will bother for other things? To gather information, forget. Forget <coughs> that all the spiritual is a very nice, but not for me. Even the spiritual practice, forget. It's written by Goswami, but it's not from me. Yoga, jana. Huh? Yoga, jana. Yeah. Uh, okay, for the external thing, but why to do that? Do that means you divert, collecting again the energy to. Mahamaya can catch us. Mm. To maintain some organization, management, you have to do, but at the same time detach, totally detach. Those yeah. who give up all other spiritual practices and goals and desire only the supreme goal of Sri Radha's service always chant her name in Sankirtana and automatically attain their desired perfection. Why? Why Radha will fulfill all desires? Because it's her nature. What? Why she will fulfill all this and not Krishna? She is more merciful than Krishna Gaudi and she always likes Krishna to support Krishna. Will, they fulfill desire because giving you a thai bhav. Mm. To us a thai bhav, fixed nature. One pointedness. Yeah. 
good or bad is only for me. So many people say to Radha Krishna is very bad. He said, what to do? <laughs> Maybe it is bad, but I love I love him. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> he is my, I cannot leave him. I know, but I cannot leave him. I love him. So this is time how even the Krishna cannot give well. Mm. She is the most one, the highest teacher. And our all Acharyas, Mahajan, he took the shelter of brother. For what? For his Krishna. Because what? how she knows Krishna and she loves Krishna, I cannot do. And nobody can do like her. And I, by I see, I become only by seeing happy. So I'm a viewer. My Raghunath Baba said, I'm not a doer. You become doer. I want to view it. How it's beautiful. How do you relate to this? How do you see the circumstances? Who is, what is the beautiful doer of viewer? Whole life we are doing, nothing achieved. But really, when we become viewer of this, I, I feel something is coming. Because I can see great mercy flow from her and she is speaking. And if she has no time, she sends so many. My brother, sister, Gurudev expanded the so many brother and sister, my disciples. Brother, I can fight with them, but I cannot fight with my disciples. And his yeah. Gurudev expand. Gurudev expand like this. So you, you can fight with your brother, but more are the, your disciples. So if you cannot fight with him, yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you have to listen to that. <laughs> you see, you can fight little fighting, good, I fight with Kesha Baba. You see, sit, I fight. But how I can fight with my children? But he, this, uh, children are also an expansion of Gurudev. What you see, they are separate, they are spiritual, they are connected with Gurudev. So how many eyes are there to watch me? You see, whose eyes is this? This is the Gurudev eyes. <laughs> right or not? The Vaishnava Kirma is not Vaishnava Kirma, light um, <laughs> This is the thing when you come in the Yoga Maya in France. Mahamaya also, 
he start making all comfort. This no 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 they will not bother giving pain or happiness. Yes, your Maya test, Ma Maya test. How fixed you are. Hmm. Yeah. Go on, Arya. One line I will yes, talk. Sir. You so long. Yes. No, no, Gurdi. No. You can talk as much as you like. Those who simply think I am Radha's maid servant and consider no. this statement to be the effect this is of everything will automatically. Everything okay, Gurdi? Yes, I'm coming. Okay. With the line. Acha. So those who think I am Radha's maid servant and consider this attainment to be the perfection of everything will automatically attain a result which is beyond fancy, beyond imagination. Automatically. Automatically. Read again this song. My English is not very good. Automatic. Those Automatic. who simply think I am Radha's maidservant and consider this attainment to be the perfection of everything will automatically attain a result which is beyond fancy, beyond imagination. You can imagine, underline five times, <laughs> automatically. You have nothing to do. Forget that's all books. If it is right. Like. I would like to hear automatically. Jai <laughs> Ho! Automatic. Really, this is automatic. The, the creator of universe, creator of all <laughs> Shastra, he want to follow her. Attracted by her. So everything is there. Sad Padanga Luna Ke. Means the nails of the Radhikas. All Sahasra Vishnu Lok, Sad Padanga Luna Ke. Vishnu Lok, Sahasra Vishnu Lok is in the, is in the nails. Of dust of the Radhika. Hmm. Shiva is enchanting this Radha Kripa Kataksha. Honestly, I have no knowledge of any Shastra and philosophy and Vedas and Puran. I never be. Never. Only I come to Vrindavan and took the shelter of Radharani. That's it. And when I read, listen, Rama, Ram Nath is reading Guru. <laughs> Sanatan section first time. And I see this is reality. How much he, he, he relish, but I relish more. I pray him to read that because I relish that. That I am going right way or wrong way. It's relish. Everything is surprising there. Our associates, all the 
thinking of the radha devotee is giving some surprise mm -hmm. what about radha is all surprise so can you say something about swarup shakti same like yoga maya radhika is or somehow she is giving swarup she is swarup shakti yeah what is meaning of that swarup shakti means energy of the soul if you imagine your physical body and the sarup that is your sarup you have it one and i moving with you right i'm a physical and every one has a different different energy and in sense of the physical form and if you see the mercy is straight coming to that soul to divine form and if you start practicing in that the divine vision coming you not see like a here you can see far you i cannot only see your body but i can see your inside feeling that sarup is a divine sarup shakti can see the divine thing. and this is divine was you said something i understand something divine essence of that mean that is sarup i is our gloria books are written like anandas baba ji is the written in sarup shakti so every straight if you read the books line you cannot understand if you not in sarup shakti wonder because different meaning are there inside now again you read this line those who simply think i am radha's maid servant yes. and consider Only this i radha maid servant and then it is not a big job my my gora sundar is meditating although he has no idea of anything <laughs> yes he yes. has confirmed confirmed yes. he is radha met servant and he is a cook in that kitchen right right yeah he knows only this he don't know about the cooking but he think that i am the cook <laughs> then see how miracles are doing if he do it go on those who simply think i am radha's maid servant and consider this attainment to be the perfection of everything will automatically attain a result which is beyond fancy beyond imagination you see imagine if we are we cannot imagine nobody imagine that that jananda maharaj will do miracle of job in japan He asked to him. He, he imagined it. You imagine this that what you are happening through you? No, Guru Dev. I am. I am full. Just I am. I am following your instruction. That's it. <laughs> Not this is the starting a. Hundred times more is going to come to you. prepare for that <laughs> yes guru dev really and you will do it because 
if you not deviate with her med servant if you not deviate from that you will done you you bless my prabhu pad you bless my narayan maharaj you bless my all mahadevs why you bother for what they bless us to become krishna consciousness what mean krishna consciousness radha sat because she is the topmost krishna consciousness right <laughs> she never forget for one moment the gopi say say some ram nath what how to forget to him Udav. I want to forget Udav and the Gopis. You were saying yesterday about Udav and the Gopis. Janmukri, Janmukri. Now men say, "Yeah, what is this?" Uh, How many minds do you? Yes, still here. Yes, sure. Ah, uh, this is uh, the incident uh, that happened at Jan Gudri in Vrindavan, and uh, uh, Krishna sends Akura, Ratnasar uh, Udav, uh, to pacify the gopis who are uh, undergoing viraha. He was trying to explain them uh, Advaitic things like dhana and so on and so forth. The gopis uh, reply, "I, you please tell us how to forget Krishna. That remembering Krishna is very easy for us." Yeah, oh, you see, how to forget Krishna? They are Krishna conscious, right? Mother Jasoda. Radha Rani, friends of the Krishna Council. How we identify that we are Krishna Council? Just false. Sorry. Mm -hmm. The practice needed to attain that extraordinary result. Is the loving congregational chanting of the holy name of Rasa Rasika, Krishna, the relisher of the Rasa dance. Nama Sankirtan is the best means to attain this perfection because it's full of flavor and full of bliss. Rasa and also Vaisa. Means Krishna. A rasika, Rasa rasika, the lovers of this rasika. Very hidden word in Hindi. Rasa rasika. Only the rasika can understand him. Rasa means Krishna, and without Rasa, you cannot become without feeling. How is the feeling is there? You are Rasa. Radha's mercy without Rasa, you cannot become. Feeling will not come. Krishna is for Rasa Rasa. Hmm. You see. Who is not rushing to buy Krishna? You can think on. You cannot think in Krishna. Narayan Maharaj say like this: Naravada Lila, Naravada Lila. Many times I listen from him. That time I also not understand. 
But why he do Narada Lila like a human? He not act like a god. That you not feel difficulty to understand. Like you, like me, like him, he is behaving like a human. This is Narada Lila. So he act like a Narada Lila. Like a human, you don't need to do that. It's because of that he is the Supreme. If you are not doing Narvada Lila like a human, he cannot be a Supreme. He do the things but not necessary to do him. And the Supreme can do that. Great persons can do that. So what we do this, that we can understand very personally to him. So, I want to share one little thing that came to me. Yeah. It yeah. is amazing also that here in this connection, Baba uh, is mentioning that if we chant Krishna's name, we will get Radha's mercy, right? So I was thinking that uh, the difference of chanting Krishna's names or Mahamantra is how our mind is connecting to the Mahamantra. And that's why you gave us this beautiful connection with their embrace and with their, you know, they are together and they are in a union and we are, we are invited to come into their service because then we are connected with Radhika's service. Before we are thinking, we are chanting uh, to get rid of some bad karma or to, to, to purify our consciousness. This is also all true. This is another approach. But the deepest approach is to, to feel that I am pleasing my Swamini if I uh, chant Krishna's name into her ear or remember or remind her of Krishna's Leela. Yeah, that's the point. Any Krishna's pastime, you are preaching to your son. Yes. There's nothing uh, good, bad. But I am the Dasi of her is very important than in this understanding term. All will become crystal clear. And there is no conflict with every place. Why? Because who has no feeling, you will not relate there. And who has a feeling? And who has the love? You will see some. Yes. There is no conflict. And who, the person has no love, no humbleness and no kindness, Everywhere we can see Swami. Are my Gaura Sundara, you see, he see in the house Swami. He see in the kitchen Swami. I am proud of him, yeah. He is not interested in any spiritual talk, you see. He is sitting and relaxing. <laughs> but this thing also. He's fixed. We are not fixed, he's fixed. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Even in this material world, it is seen that when one discusses the qualities of a great person, 
that person may be pleased, but he will not respond. But when one calls him by name, Krishna or Radha, whether it is in praise or in blasphemy, he will immediately respond, even though he may be far away. The best way to attain Sriman Mahaprabhu's greatest gift of Radha Dasya is the sweet practice of Nam Sankirtan. This is that part. All comes to do. This is the point. When the test comes in the name, you start loving. Any name becomes tasteful, you start loving that. Person is. And person also starts loving you. So any name, when you fix in that name, name will take the path, you will take the form to love. Mm. Name and person is no different. Arshay Prabhu Kohen, Shuno Swaru Brahm Roy, Nama Sanketan Kalau Parama Upoi. From Chaitanya Taitamrita, joyfully the Lord said, Listen, O Swarup and Ramananda Roy, in the age of Kali, Nama Sanketan is the best way to salvation. This was the introduction, Guruji. Now come, we come back to the Leela of Swamini and Tulsi. Well. Swamini thinks to herself, <laughs> Tulsi is doing nice service. I want to reward her. But what if Lalita and my other girlfriends will see it? I would die out of shame. So she looks in all four directions before she pushes a chewed betel nuts from her mouth into Tulasi's mouth in a yeah. hidden or unseen way. While Tulsi hangs the necklace back on her neck. In this way, she gives her dear Tulasi a good reward for her loving service. It is the same beetle leaf that Shyama Sundara pushed into her mouth while he enjoyed with her. And Swamini knows how much Tulasi cherishes, cherishes that. Yeah. So mm. Tulasi it's giving her the necklace, Guruji. And then she puts it in her mouth, right? Yeah, she put it in the necklace to become close and see yes. it. <laughs> she is giving the necklace that this necklace is a Krishna necklace ornament. Mm -hmm. Radhika ornament is Krishna. And that manjar is dasi ornament, the mercy, it comes from love from the practice. Both are 
giving. Is a is a is a mercy way. Love is a mercy way. Giving to Krishna in the night. Giving to Swamini. And Swamini giving in the mouth. Her love. Wow. You're giving me Krishna. I give you mine. Mouth to mouth. My love to you. Radhika's or ornament is Krishna. She wears the ornamenting in the thinking to Krishna. This is her ornaments. So there's another quote from Chaitanya Taitamrita about the glory of Krishna's eating bitter leaves. I cannot describe the value and the complete pride of the bitter leaves Krishna eats. Whatever he spits out is called the essence of nectar. And he uses the gopis' mouths as spittoons. In these beetle leaves lies the savior of the lip nectar. Parama Durlaba e Krishna Dharamrita Taha Ye Pai Tara Safala Jivita. This lip nectar of Krishna is the most precious and the life of anyone who obtains it is successful. And where can this lip nectar be relished to the utmost? Love is required for experiencing the sweetness of Krishna's sounds, touch, and flavors. Shijiva Goswami says, Krishna Madhoya Rayasa Premai Kasvadatyam Krishna's sweetness is only relishable through pure love. But not everyone tastes it in the same way. Amara Madhurya Nitya Nava Nava Hoy Svasva Prema Anurupa Bhakta Ashvadoi. Again? I, yes. Again, repeat. Amara Madhurya Nitya Nava Nava Hoy Swasva Prema Anurupa Bhakta Ashvadoi. My sweetness is ever fresh, and each devotee relishes, relishes it according to the amount of his own love. This is also from Chaitanya Taitam. My sweetness is ever fresh, and each devotee relishes it according to his own love. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati writes in his commentary on this verse. It is not the presence of some object 
that makes it relishable. But the power that the senses may have for taking it. Ah, taking. Senses is capable to take it. Or not. This is uh, your manovriti and chitpriti. Yoga maya, ma maya. <laughs> My senses not take when I'm in friends with Mahamaya. Nothing. Deep point, Guru. So it means that even if Krishna is there, we every every any anyway we can always feel that Radha and Krishna are everywhere or, or they are nowhere, right? According to our consciousness. <laughs> it's state. My Kesa Baba say Astare Astare Kotati. Means this this circumstances as per my eye consciousness, the stage, which stage I am thinking and doing, mm. which purity I am doing, how much I have a realization depends on that. We understand yeah. that. So again, Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur is analyzing or explaining it uh, like that. It is not the presence of some object that makes it relishable, but the power that the senses may have for taking it. Yes. We can also judge whether there is power in the senses to take the objects when we see them taking them. Mm. In the same way, we cannot say that everyone will be able to take, means appreciate or relish the sweetness of the Lord. Although he may be right before the eyes in form of the deity or a picture. Only love is the cause for relishing the Lord's sweetness. Without love, nothing of the Lord's sweetness can be relished. Yeah. Mm. And this sweetness... And again, again, this line. Again, this line. Um, in the same way, we cannot say that everyone will be able to appreciate or relish the sweetness of the Lord, although he may be right before their eyes in the form of the deity or a picture. Only love is the cause for relishing the Lord's sweetness. Without love, nothing of the Lord's sweetness can be relished. Yeah. And again, this sweetness can be relished according to the amount of love we feel for the Lord. Mm -hmm. We can know whether a person loves God or not and how much he loves God according to the amount that the person relishes the Lord's sweetness. 
Sri Radhika's love is unlimited and therefore only she can relish Krishna's sweetness to the highest, to the utmost. No one else but she has unlimited love and therefore no one else but she can relish Krishna's endless sweetness to the utmost. Sri Radhika's love is unlimited. So that's why she is able to fully taste his unlimited sweetness and the sweetness of the chewed beetle leaves. Through this love, only Radhika is able to relish all my nectarian sweetness. This is Krishna's saying in Charitamrita. So when uh, Tulsi is getting uh, the Mahaprasad, then she can taste what Radhika can, was tasting, right? That is also secret. And that's why the mandris, they only take her prashadi, because in this prashadi is more love than even if they take Krishna's prashadi. Yeah. Right. Swamini thinks, if I must reward Tulsi, then I should give her this most tasty, delicious delicacy. But Tulsi, being partial to Swamini, will not even relish it when it is chewed only by Krishna. It must be chewed by Shiradika especially. She is ever begging for Swamini's lip nectar. So, Manjiri means only who takes the left remnants of Radhika. And Radhika cannot take them without Krishna. And sometimes, is now also like from Radhika. <laughs> In Bhaji Bhakti, very difficult to understand this. All in circumstances different. Share something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's one, one feeling. I'm in picture. I cannot control it today. So, I want to see. Yes. Yes, yeah. I was just uh, meditating on the intimacy which Radharani has with the maid servants. So Radha and Krishna are enjoying this exchange of the beta leaves. But how can we understand that relish if not the sakis and the mandaris are there? So when Radharani puts that beta leaf into Tulsi's mouth, that's actually also that we have the chance to also relish this. And there's a beautiful uh, verse in the Chaitanya Chaitamita which came was that Saki Bina e Lila Ra Pushti Na Hoy Saki Lila Vistarya Saki Ashwadoy means that the Sakis and the Mandaris the Lila cannot be nourished without them 
they extend it and make it relishable for them. They are expanding the park. The friends as said the Pradhija, they expand the first time of Radha and his lover. They expand for their pleasure. And to hold God to come in the real spiritual identification from material suffering. They are helping us to realize this higher. Can you continue? The, the, the mic is somehow uh, has become covered. Which mic? I think yours, because uh, we could not understand Guru really the last sentence. Yeah, I think um, it's the ventilator. Yeah, it's the ventilator. Okay. Just as Radhika does not accept any eatable which is not first enjoyed by Krishna, so the Mandaris do not accept anything which is not first tasted by Sri Radhika. Hence, the lip nectar of the Yugala is ever coveted by the maidservants. Swamini who is affectionate to her millions of maidservants, revives to Lassi with the nectar of her lotus feet and the nectar from her lips. Not only that, but she grants it to, to Lassi by embracing her, kissing her, and transferring Krishna's chewed betel leaves from her mouth into Tulasi's mouth. After looking in all four directions to see if nobody will notice it. Tulasi feels blessed by getting this river. Sri Bangi Bihari Vityalankara adds, sometimes Tulasi may get the chewed beetle leaves before Swami brushes the teeth after taking her meals. Then the transcendental revelation disappears. Tulasi opens her mouth, but she does not get the chewed bitterly, so she cries with a tear-filled throat. Oh, Radhi, Vinodini, O oh, Empress of the Kunja, O oh, Beloved of Krishna, O oh, my Ishwari, after your erratic but by the erotic battle, you both chew beetle leaves and after chewing it, you look in all four directions before you push it from your own mouth into mine. Oh, fortunate girl, please be merciful to me in so many ways. Affectionately consider me to be yours and your mind melting of affection. O 
Oh, Radhe, Vinodini, O oh, Empress of the Kunj, O oh, Beloved of Krishna, O oh, my Ishwari, after your erotic battle, you both chew betel leaves, and after chewing it, you look in all four directions before you push it from your own mouth into mine. Oh, fortunate girl, please be merciful to me in so many ways. Affectionately, consider me to be yours, your mind melting of affection. Jai Shri Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. you show us Siddha there and Sadak there also. How when the body the consciousness, you know, see that pattern, we cry for that. Again, where I come, for what I come.